The police in our country are not appreciated. We do not give them the kind of respect that they have to have. Sure, there'll be a bad apple, there'll be a bad thing happen, and it ends up on the news for two weeks and everybody hates the police. The fact is, they do an incredible job. We have to give them more authority and we have to give them far more respect. Without the great police forces that we have throughout the United States, we wouldn't be sitting here. We wouldn't have the lives that we have. They do a fantastic job. We have to appreciate and respect our police. Our police officers rush into danger every single day to protect our communities, and they often do it thanklessly and under relentless criticism. They serve thousands of lives every year, perform countless public services every day, and yet their names will likely never appear in a single headline or media report. But I want our nation's police to know that we thank you from the bottom of our heart. A brutal attack on our police force is an attack on our country and an attack on our families. We must stand in solidarity with law enforcement, which we must remember is the force between civilization and total chaos. One of the first things I do in terms of executive order if I win will be to sign a strong, strong statement that will go out to the country, out to the world, that anybody killing a policeman, policewoman, police officer, anybody killing a police officer, death penalty, it's going to happen. We have to give great respect, far greater than we are right now, to our really fantastic police. Nobody's going to mess with these guys, that I can tell you. Nobody. Nobody. But the big thing is we have to let them do their job. They do an unbelievable job. We have to let them do, but nobody's messing. All right, get the hell out of here, Phil. These guys are great. They do such an amazing job. An attack on law enforcement is an attack on all Americans.